So, let us discuss an important space, the femoral sheath. It is a funnel-shaped facial sheath, enclosing the upper 3.75 centimeters of femoral vessels. Notably, the femoral sheath is not symmetrical. Its lateral wall runs vertically, while the medial wall is oblique, directed downward and laterally. Inside this sheath is a, there are three compartments. Lateral compartment. This lane is reserved for the femoral artery and a special nerve called the genital branch of the genitofemoral nerve. The middle compartment contains the femoral vein. Medial compartment slash femoral canal. This lane is mostly empty, like a waiting area. It has a lymph node named cloquet and some fatty tissue for padding. But this space has a purpose. We'll get to that in a second. The femoral canal. This empty lane in the femoral sheath is a tiny tunnel called the femoral canal. It's short and tapers down as it goes, and unlike most tunnels, it's closed off at the bottom. The top opening, called the femoral ring, leads right into the abdominal cavity. This space acts like an extra space for the femoral vein. When blood flow gets heavy, the vein can expand into this space. Femoral hernias. Why should you care about this? The femoral canal. Understanding this area is key because it's a weak spot where hernias can happen. A femoral hernia is like a bulge in your groin caused by something, usually a loop of intestine, pushing through the femoral ring and getting stuck. How do these hernias happen? The femoral ring can get stretched out, especially in women who have wider pelvises. This weakness, combined with things that push on your abdomen like pregnancy or heavy lifting, can cause a loop of the intestine to squeeze through the ring. This loop brings a little sac of abdominal lining with it, and that forms the hernia. The hernia usually bulges out near your pubic bone and saphenous vein. If it keeps growing, it can even take on a U-shape. 